There's the the oh the the crypto bullshit that happened. That's gonna be just wow! What a what a little uh, okay short version. Very short version. You can't trade the fake money for the real money. It, it, so you need a place to trade the fake money for the real money. It's called a crypto exchange. And okay. there's a silly who ran one uh, called Sam Bankman Freed. And he ran one called FTX. It was very big. And um, somehow, $10 billion dis the night appeared. Somehow. Somehow. And as such, FTX has filed for bankruptcy. There's a whole lot of things going on. He has spent the past month going on every single media outlet that will have him. Twitter spaces, Twitches, YouTubes, TV, just blabbing his head off as if like, do you have a night lawyer? And then he was in the Bahamas and today he got extradited and arrested. And if they extradite your night from the Bahamas, you have done fulala up. I mean, he might not be able to afford a lawyer. So, um, and this, what makes this interesting is this is like the first time we've had one of these crypto exchanges in a courtroom and we'll get to unpack them. They're very unregulated stuff and see what, how they've been operating. And that's going to influence it. This is like, this could potentially, if he doesn't plead out, this could be like an Enron moment for crypto. Wow. Yeah. So it's, I don't really follow crypto stuff, so I didn't know any of that. Yeah, just just understand the crazy Nine. fake money. It's it's Nine. gonna get wild, and also because they use the criminals and dictators and Nine. use the fake money to launder real money. Um, and now the guy who is in charge of laundering their money at the FT, he's now in federal custody. Woo! <laughs> Schneid. Wild. Fascinating. Right? So, yeah, it's all the Schneid. happening. It's all happening. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's How? funny to me is, like, to, to, to paraphrase Thor, like, all money is made up. Yes. But we have all decided that, like, this particular fake money is the one we're all going to, like, this is the standard fake money. Yes. And your new fake money is not going to cut it. Right, because the new fake money doesn't have people, doesn't have, you know, like, tanks and, and battleships, like, saying that, no, this is, this money's real. Let's, let's get the intro going. Jesus. <sighs> Each week... Catherine, the radio dare audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. We're gonna be here for a little segment we like to call Fuck is wrong. Now we didn't have any Black Friday stuff, much to my relief, because that 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 can be dead. That can be over. The, I, I I outlive Black Friday and I'm proud of this. However, we did have one Thanksgiving thing that popped up and I Definitely our wheelhouse. Um, oh, but first, go watch. Let's get the let's get the go watch done. Just have to check in, check in on the the uh, blue blue. I'm pro I'm still I'm saying that wrong. I don't care. It sounds funnier when I say it. Uh, <laughs> you're mangling it. I don't care. Let's check in on the live cam. There we are, live from Yavla Sweden. There is. Not burned. He said that it, they apparently have moved it closer to a residential area so that if anybody burns it, they can now charge you with like arson <clears throat> with attempt to do harm. Smug motherfucker. Just look at him. Being not on fire and everything. Prick. All right. So. Let's look into this uh, Thanksgiving story I was talking about. It's from New Jersey. Hey, we were there before. Jersey. Yeah. Um, I tend to think of breaking and entering as normally one of those crimes where you're going to come out, you're tempted to come out of there with some sort of profit. Yes? You break into somebody's yeah. house, steal something. You're looking for the expensive shit. Why the fuck are you cosplaying an underwear gnome? 
New Jersey Thanksgiving underwear thief nabbed thanks to hidden camera footage. A mask man who broke into a New Jersey home on Thanksgiving was identified by police. Um, Kyle Jones, 24, Lancaster County, uh, was charged with burglary, trespassing, and theft in connection with the incident. Jones first caught on a doorbell camera with his face covered by a mask, trying to gain entry to a home on Holly Street, uh, Glassboro. Uh, the tenants of the resident were not home at the time due to the holiday. His face was obscured by a face mask, but once he was inside, he let his guard down and was captured on a hidden camera in the victim's bedroom. Off the officer was able to identify Jones after some still photos from the bedroom camera were distributed. Jones turned himself in on November 30th. Remanded to the a bedroom camera? Yeah. That's hooked up to the internet? Well, I mean, on the one hand, yes, you turn it on when you're not at home. You turn it off when you are at home. But on the other hand, yeah, I feel you there. That's a little weird. Like, even this camera I'm using here for the office, um, it has a dedicated, it's not like, you know, a, like a webcam. It has a dedicated off switch. I turn it off. The, the soundboard that's hooked up to the microphone and everything, off switch. It, it has no power. It goes away. I, c I couldn't imagine just having a camera in my house. Like those nanny cam things yeah. freak me out. Like I have a couple of little cameras for when I go out of town, but I literally unplug them. Yeah. Until I go out of town. And those are just so that like I can keep an eye on my cats. But we, we, do, yeah. need, we do need to circle back, however, because... You are breaking into someone's house on Thanksgiving. Yeah. And what you stole was underwear. What the fuck? What the fuck, Kyle? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's that's some weird shit. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure these these people had hidden cameras. I'm pretty sure there's a computer around there somewhere. There's probably a TV. There's something worth something. And yeah, you... but those don't suit his little fetish. On Thanksgiving. Like, sorry, Grandma, I'm busy. Can't come for dinner. Like, <laughs> Gotta steal the undies. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's just so, what the, that's kind of, that's so unsettling. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Fucking weirdo. And like, fun fact about me, I generally have enough underwear on hand that I could go like two months without having to do laundry. Yeah. For no good reason. Well, partially because, you know, the, the bra and undies have to match. Okay. You need the match sets, okay. but also just I just have a lot. Okay. So it would legitimately probably take me a while to notice <laughs> if somebody broke in and stole. Like it would take me a while <sighs> to inventory and figure out that there was a gap. Well, speaking of other audacious and weird crimes. They haven't caught this guy yet, but the chutzpah, it's a good word. I've used it before. I like that word. The chutzpah of this guy. The, the picture is going to say it all. I, I think you're going to appreciate this one. Um, surveillance video captures brazen crook stealing dozens of items from Hylia store. From, uh, that's from a Burlington store in Hylia in, uh, near Miami-Dade. Fucking guy. What in the fuck? He looks like he should be checking you into the gym. Right? Police in Miami Dade County are searching for a crook who grabbed as much as he could get his hands on from a department store before literally dragging the stolen loot out the front door. That's a lot of purses. That's a lot of his purses and bags, and I don't know what, but all of the things. It looks like he even took, like, some sacks in the store and filled yeah. them with shit. <laughs> uh, surveillance video the captured... Is, which 
store, like where all those purses were stealing. Well, it's from Burlington Coat Factory. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I love how instantly you're like, nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> I you're wouldn't not gonna know. get any resale value on any purses they have at Burlington. Um like do you <sighs> Officers have a clear holiday shopping on the dime of the store. Officers have a clear shot of the man's face. They also have his car on video. He appeared to be to get away with a ton of pocketbooks, and the video looks like he stuffed whatever else he could into two large bags. Like he looks very angry too. I just that that yeah, that's a grumpy dude. Also, huh. when's the last time you heard anybody use the word pocketbook? My mom. Yeah. Nobody my, says that anymore. Nobody says, my mom says a pocketbook. My mom's called it a pocketbook. But I don't say purse that much. I say bag. Yeah. I, a yeah, pocketbook I, is definitely a relic of the 80s. Yeah, I haven't heard, ba- I haven't heard a uh, personal, yeah, bag, I think is, is what, let me yeah. get my bag. Right. Yeah, the, nobody, nobody who can't collect on social security is using the word pocketbook. Just, it's just like didn't even bother to wear his disguise. Nope. He's just like, I'm taking the stuff and I'm leaving. Although I guess you're not going to be stealthy dragging 76 purses <laughs> like the fucking Grinch leaving Whoville. It had to have been so surreal for everybody in the store. People shopping there, people working there. To just watch this guy grab all this shit, just dragging it down the aisle, knocking shit over with this slowly turning into the trash pile from Fraggle Rock. Just the look on his face, like just like he hates everybody, and everybody's just like, "Is this happening?" And he's like, just you walking seen, out. Anyone who's worked retail is aware of like the quick sweeps, like. Whatever's at the front of the store, like people will grab a whole stack of jeans and run for it. Yeah. You know, but this was not that. Like, no. oh. So what you're saying is he's got like maybe $20 of merchandise there. Maybe a couple hundred, <laughs> but like Burlington's not carrying the high end bags. All right. So last week. We had the cat that got sent through the x-ray machine. And we're like, wow, that's, that's some wild shit. Yeah. Well, this week, God damn it. Dog accidentally sent through airport x-ray machine. And we have a picture there. There's there's the pupper. There's there's the pupper in the backpack. Dogs look very weird without without flesh. I have to say, right? Look at him. It's it's. I feel like anything looks pretty weird true. without flesh. It's it's without the, the ears are what's doing it for me. Because yeah, it's like without the it, it looks weird. Um, Jesus, was this Christ. on purpose? I think. All right, make sure to check your luggage before flying this holiday season. Transportation Security Administration reported a dog was accidentally sent through an x-ray at Dane County Regional Airport in Madison, Wisconsin. Verified Great Lakes Region Twitter account for the agency reported the passenger and the dog owner did not tell the TSA about her dog. When traveling with any animal, notify your airline, know the rules, the checkpoint, please remove your pet from the bag and send all items, including the empty carrier, to be screened by the machine. Boilerplate stuff there. Um. It doesn't indicate what she was doing, but if you were trying to sneak on the plane with the dog, I don't think you, for one, I don't think you understand what an x-ray is. Yeah. I I think. But also, I don't think you have to buy a ticket for a small animal. I don't know. I've never done it. We looked into that when we were moving out here, whether we were going to drive or fly. And like. As far as we found, that just it counts as your carry on. Hmm. Okay. So if it's a dog small enough to fit in your backpack, you 
probably could have just brought the dog on the plane as your carrier. So why did you the poor puppy in, in an actual carrier with air holes? Like, yeah, you could kind of breathe in a backpack, but not really. I mean, the backpack's probably not airtight, but it's yeah, not. It's not comfy. As comfortable as a carrier. Who, who the fuck? Oh, Ronan says, excuse me, my carry-on my carry ordered the vegetarian meal. <laughs> I, I, why? Your carry-on whining. <laughs> why the poor pupper? Baby. I just, I, I still have to imagine you're the TSA agent and you're standing there and this comes through the machine. On the universe awards you no kittens. <laughs> like you, just, you just have to look at that and be like, am I losing my mind right now? Is that, is that a dog? What the fuck? I got, I got to quit this job. <laughs> This happened twice. Yes, it did. We had the cat last week. We have the dog this week. What's good? What the fuck's next? Someone's going to try and put an emu through one of the fucking things. You watch. Well, a couple years ago, we had the emotional support peacock. Right. Right. God, I forgot. Oh, wow. That's like that. That's a throwback, isn't it? Whoosh. Someone tried to bring a peacock on the plane as a therapy animal. Well, let's get a little little. Back to our, I, I guess, more closer to what we what we do best, which makes me sad. Um, this is one some of these headlines you see, and you're like, "Yep, that's us." Centerville man strips naked, hits peace officer after chase in, I the, the name of the place, Colon Township. Really, Colon Township, Michigan. I mean, it could be Cologne. There's they're missing a G and an E there. Well, no, like I I had kids that I went to school with that were um, Latin, and their last name was Cologne, spelled that way. But in Michigan, it's probably Colon. I'm pretty sure everybody's calling that Colon Town. Yeah. Who wants to go to Colon Town? <laughs> Let's stop. Oh, man, it's always so hard to get out. <laughs> It just always it, it just always feels overcrowded, like <laughs> constipated. <laughs> anyway, a Centerville man is behind bars after a wild Friday night. St. Joseph Murray County Sheriff's deputies tried to stop a 38 year old man on M86 after he drove away from a crash in Centerville. Uh, instead of stopping the stopping, the man led deputies on a chase through Colon Township. Don't want to, you don't want to go on a chase down there, um, causing property damage and hitting other cars in the process. Then he lost control of the car and crashed onto private property. When he got out of the car, the man proceeded to take off all his clothes. Fully nude, the man initially complied with verbal commands from deputies, but then he hit a peace officer in the face. After a brief struggle, the man was arrested to a local hospital what like he was about to comply but he's like you know what fuck it i'm naked Maybe he thought, given that he was in colon township that cavity searches were standard <laughs> 38 punch in the face was a problem like this is one of those rap sheets 38 year old faces charges of fleeing and eluded assault on a peace officer resisting and obstruction indecent exposure and driving while a license is suspended. That's like enough charges to be spread out over a lifetime. But you did yeah. it all in a day. At the same time. That's impressive. Yeah. Like so, That's impressive. Like so many different crimes in one. It's like a turducken of stupid crimes. I, Medically cleared, and it doesn't say he was on anything. Nope. Nope. He just hopped out of the car and stripped it down. Like you do in Michigan in December. You couldn't pay me. You could not. I I used to live up there. I loved the cold, but I also loved parkas. 
Wasn't an impressive show, probably. Oh. Boy. We've got another one of these robberies that I... Okay, Tara, here, here, this is an old one. Um, why are you rob a bank? For money? Because that's where the money is. Yeah. So you would think if you're, if you're going to you know, rob, it's going for money, right? I, 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 can't, I get to, I relish, I, I'm relishing this setup here. Um, sir, this is a Wendy's. Thieves caught on camera stealing safe from Wendy's in Miramar. Police arrested two men on Wednesday in connection with stealing a safe from Wendy's. According to Miramar Police, uh, Imenz Lazaro Portelis, 33, and Johan Valdez, 32, caught on camera stealing a safe from Wendy's. Um, police said it was not an isolated incident. The two have charges for one of them broke in and attempted to move the safe, but wasn't successful. The second one, one gentleman was able to remove the safe from the business. Investigators say at the time of the robbery, the restaurant had no cash available, and both men failed to open it. They left with nothing. Not even a frosty. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta at least get a frosty. They got the peppermint ones for Christmas. You don't want to go empty-handed. What the fuck? But safes. I don't know if you guys. Under, I, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Safes weigh a lot. They're really heavy. But who thinks? And made not to be opened. Who looks at like the take on a day at a Wendy's and thinks this is going to be the big score? Right. I I work for a small business here, and they had a smash and grab coming and steal the cash box, and they were like, "Jokes on them! We keep like a hundred dollars in there." Like I'm hearing in my head, the one of those like heist movie shit, like like Ocean's Eleven. Like, all right, any given time, yeah. that cash box could have anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars. We're gonna yeah. get it. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ! The Wendy's. Yeah, like that. No, no place like that keeps that much cash. I mean, I mean, you do have to say they never saw it coming. That's for sure. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. No, it's not. Really, it's. I bet they spent more on the tools to break in than they could, even if there had been money, than they would have even gotten for. Jesus. Yeah. Look at him out there with it on the sidewalk. You didn't even bring a hand truck. Last one this week, we got video because Jesus Christ. Well, no, not Jesus Christ, but yet yeah, you got to watch this Jesus video. Christ on video. No. The GOP is going to be pissed. Although I bet you that his name was taken in vain during this. Probably repeatedly. Let me send you over to you so you can watch the video. Um, and I'll bring it up for everybody else so they can watch the video. Get that loaded up right here. Um, holy shit. Let's watch this kid here. Rochester, New York. Shocking surveillance video from a gas station. Yeah, in upstate New York. Shows the moment an 18-year-old man plowed his car into a gas pump. According to police in Rochester, the man admitted to starting a fire at the pump after he crashed into it as he was, quote, trying to do a bird out. Well, you did. But it slows flames spewing after the car hits the pump. They say the man drove off, but investigators managed to identify and arrest him. 18-year-old is charged with criminal mischief and leaving the scene of a motor vehicle accident after admitting to the track. I feel like he's okay. He's fine. If, wow. Would I be doing it if he wasn't fine? No, that's true. I will say, having spent some time in Rochester, this is kind of all there is to do up there. Like, 
if if he would if like oh he did but somehow he not dead it looks like it it looks like he did no he drove off he's like fuck this i'm out like, rochester new york is really fucking boring now i have to wonder was this who who was this for because was he alone in the car? doesn't say, but you know, I was at one point a teenage boy, and teenage boys are fucking idiots. And I know that, and I'm not going to say it was a girl because you know here we are in the 21st century. But whatever the object of his affections were, that's why you do this shit to impress someone. But it doesn't impress it anybody. It doesn't impress anybody ever. Because I actually had a dude try to impress me this way. I was in his car and he asked if I liked the smell of burning rubber. And I said, no, it actually makes me sick. And he proceeded to do a bunch of donuts mm. in the fucking stop and shop parking lot when we were supposed to be picking up snacks for our tabletop game. I did not like him. I was not impressed. Also, he was driving a Volvo station wagon, for God's sake. <laughs> Who says burnouts in a fucking Volvo? I didn't even know you could make a <laughs> Volvo station wagon go in a circle. But you can. <laughs> you shouldn't, but you can. There's a whole but you won't impress anybody. Th there was a breakdown of so many things here. Like, for, do not fuck around with explosives. No. They literally have signs all over the goddamn thing saying, do not fuck around here. Also, like, did you even try to aim? Let's go to the tape. Let's, let's. Like, were you here trying we to press pump? Because the. Revving it up. You could have chosen an empty lot. And kablam! You could have chosen a lot that was not full of tanks of explosives. Yep, you could have. Could have, should have, would have. Didn't. Maybe whoever it was worked there. That he was trying to, like, be all... Be all big for. Hey, baby, watch me get you the night off work. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is... When, when, the, when the gas... One of those... I'm always... Uh, I'm battling right now. I'm of the impression that the gas tanks at the station, they have the emergency cutoffs. I didn't think that was fucking possible. Like, yeah. Like, I'm, I was up on the understanding that when you hit the gas tank, that you, it's not going to blow up. It's not like the action films or whatnot. But that thing apparently had enough in it to set off a little bit of a boosh. Yeah. Not a big bada boom. Yeah, but it's, a not, boom like, it's not like RoboCop when he goes away, he shoots a couple times and, and the whole fucking gas station is like, Bleh, that doesn't, that's not how it goes. That's not how that, but still a surprising I mean, it looks of, like It looks like a pretty old, like it doesn't look like a souped up new car. No. It kind of looks like the 2001 Buick I used to drive, <laughs> which is about the size of a yacht. Also not great for doing donuts. The first one we learned tonight is, uh, or I'm, I know I'm, there's that one person like, it's not the first thing, it's the last thing. Shut up. I don't fucking care. Um, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Gasoline is not a place to fuck around. Nope. That's, and you're like, Nash, gasoline isn't a place. Yes, it is. We keep it in one spot. Do not go to gasoline and fuck around. Do not taunt happy fun gasoline. Also, you're impressing no one. No. And you're wearing out your goddamn tires. You know how fucking expensive those goddamn things are? Jesus. I think the tires are the least of his problems. True. <laughs> um, we've learned that if you are in the business of stealing money, not Wendy's. Yeah, go places where money is. Like, even, I, I love that he didn't even look for, like, an ATM outside the Wendy's. 
That would have had more money in it. They could have stolen that shit. But no, no. They had to rob the fucking... Oh, we've learned... Or like... If, if Wendy's is like any of the jobs I've ever worked, somewhere in the office, there's all the register drawers mm-hmm. full of money. We've learned that... Uh... Hell, hell with it. Try to get all your crimes done at one time. It is possible. Yeah. You know, don't spread them out. Don't don't get multiple arrest records. Just have the one. It, it's easier for employers and everybody. They just there it is. They don't have to look look far. Here for the court system. Just get it all done in one. We've learned you don't have to sneak your dog on the plane. No. And also, we've learned how X rays work. I don't think I didn't know we have to go this remedial with this, but it's not new technology. Uh, we learned it doesn't matter how brazen you are. There's nothing worth stealing at the Burlington Coat Factory. But with apologies to the Burlington Coat Factory. Perfectly planned place to shop. It's really not worth shoplifting. And finally, however you may feel about the origins of Thanksgiving, it's best to spend with your family. And not in someone stranger's underwear drawer. What the fuck? They were just discovering that underwear. I claim this underwear in the name of King George. 